Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you right there. When I was five, I sat in your chair. Hear the pass right there in your seat. I did. I came to see a lady who, in fact, I was related to. Packed my lunches, wiped my nose, and cooked me cream of wheat. Everyone around me was excited. Everywhere I looked, there was this buzz. I was not too sure of what I'd see here, but I could tell that everyone felt lucky just to be here then the house lights dim and the spotlight shone as she stepped up to the microphone that was the first time i could feel and see that tingling electricity i'll never forget what she and her music did to me. What it did to me when she sang. She sang. I played the stage, the capital. But people said, don't stop until you play the palace. You haven't played the top. For years, I had it preached to me and drummed into my head. Unless you play the palace, you might as well be dead. A team of hoofers was the headline at the Majestic down in Dallas. But they canceled the day their agent called to say, you can open the bill at the palace. So it became the Hall of Fame, the Mecca of the trade when you had played the palace you knew that you were made so i hope you'll understand my wondrous thrill cause Bonneville's back at the palace and i'm on the bill all around me, I hear voices that I can't ignore. The voices of the stars who played the palace long before. The stars who entertained you until these rafters rang. You don't need their names for the whole world claims them for the world.
When he takes me in his arms, the world is right. Oh. Johnson and Olson, the Harold boys, the Cohen's and boys, and that singing fool, Elgio And so with deep humility, I stand in front of you. I'm proud to play the palace. It's like a dream come true. That is why I'd like to shout it up and down. Just to tell Broadway that lies of 